Hey Mobile Gamers, welcome back. So, today we're taking a look at a game by the same people who did Blood Rain 1 and 2. That's right, we're taking a look at Drake of the 99 Dragons. This one's coming at you for the original Xbox. So, how is Drake of the 99 Dragons going to stack up? Keep watching. Quick word from our sponsor. This game is one of the many recommendations we've had from Game Central. That's Game Central in the Crossroads Mall in St. Cloud, Minnesota. Also visit Game Central online. They trade in, they buy, sell, use new, the whole shebang. They're doing it right this time. So remember to stop in, say hi to the crew. That's Game Central in the Crossroads Mall, St. Cloud, Minnesota. We'll see you there. So what is Drake of the 99 Dragons? It's a story about this guy who's part of the Mafia, whose sensei is killed, so he goes after a bad guy, and that's as far as I got. I honestly, I'm going to be honest, I did not finish this game, and here is why. Control, 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 control! When you make a game, you got to make your game controllable. If the player cannot control what his character is doing on screen, there is no motivation to continue. That's the problem. I couldn't control my character. Arrgh. It's not your standard, um, hey, you shift this way, shift that way, you know, and you assume everything's going fine, but it's not. You know, everything goes awry in this game. And why? Because what's happening is, is not only do you, you slip a lot, like the controls are so sloppy loose that you just tap one way and it's like, you're spinning around and stuff. But your aiming is atrocious. I mean, it's like there's a guy coming at me with a knife. There's a guy back in the dumpster. So what's the auto aim going to lock on? The guy in the dumpster who's totally ignoring me. Not the guy rushing me with a knife who's about to stab me in the chest. No! No! What? Who tested this stuff? Who tested this game and said, this is good for production? Let's get it out the door, kids. No, really, dude? Really? When you test a game, you need to make sure that it works. This game does not work. This game is getting a shovel of shame. They shovel it out the door. And it had so much going for it. I mean, the stylization is great. It kind of reminds me of Samurai Jack, except with a little bit more detail. And I really liked the look and feel of the title. Um, it had this, this darker underworld you know, tone to it, which was kind of cool. And just when, when, you're, when you're using some of your powers, like running along walls, jumping up at stuff and whatnot... You know, it kind of felt somewhat like it could have been, um, not on par with Ninja Gaiden per se, but it could have been its own niche. It's kind of like Wet. Wet for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. It had its own niche. This felt like an earlier version of something that could have been as good as Wet was. Ah, but nevertheless, though. With horrible controls, I, I, I really, I did a live stream with this one and I wanted to throw the game through the window. It just it failed in so many levels, and it was frustrating. I could never do what I wanted to. So when you have a breakdown controls, what do you do? Well, you don't play it. I, I can't recommend this one at all for gamers. Morally speaking, what's going on here? You have the mafia, gun usage, mysticism. Uh, you're dealing with spirits and stuff like that, supernatural. So if you have issues with that, you may not want your kids playing it. There's some language in there, too. Uh, some people die, things like that. But hey, this even if you take the morality out of it, this is such an atrocious game to play that I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even play it if it was a moral game. I mean, I wouldn't play it anyway, anymore. So, hey, thank you, Tabitha. Um... Good recommendation, not really, no, no, sorry, this one, not so good. But hey though, if you enjoyed this review, MoralGamer, MoralGamer.com, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hope to see you on our website as well. Again, MoralGamer, MoralGamer.com.